The Intercity 225 is an electric high-speed train currently operating in the United Kingdom. The 225 is made up of a Class 91 electric locomotive, nine Mark IV coaches, and a DVT, driving van trailer. Now, for those of you who do not know what a DVT is, a DVT is a purpose-built control rail vehicle that allows the driver to operate a locomotive at the opposite end of a train. Trains operating with a DVT, therefore, do not require the locomotive to be moved around to the other end of the train at terminal stations. Unlike many other control cars, DVTs resemble locomotives. This is particularly true of the Class 91. And so, when the train is operating in push mode, it does not appear to be travelling backwards. The vehicles have no passenger capacity due to regulations prohibiting passengers travelling in the lead vehicle of trains that travel in excess of 100 miles per hour, which were in place at the time of building. The Class 91 locomotives were built by British Rail Engineering's Crew Works as a follow-on from the Advanced Passenger Train project. The APT project was sadly abandoned during the 1980s. Both the coaches and DVT were constructed by Metro Camel in Birmingham and also under contract in Italy by Breeder. Breeder was in fact sold to Hitachi Rail in 2015 and is now known as Hitachi Rail Italy. These two were based on many elements from the advanced passenger train. The trains were designed to operate at up to 140 miles an hour, or 225 kilometres an hour, in regular service. However, they are limited to 125 miles per hour, chiefly due to the lack of cab signalling and the current limitations of the overhead line equipment used in the UK. The Intercity 225s are used on services from London King's Cross to Newark Northgate, Leeds, Bradford Forster Square, Skipton, York, Newcastle, Edinburgh Waverley and Glasgow Central. The Intercity 225 entered service with British Rail on the East Coast Main Line in 1989. The units also operate on a small section of the West Coast Main Line between Carstairs and Glasgow. Should the line north of Newcastle be closed... They are then hauled by a diesel locomotive to Carlisle from where they operate northwards via the West Coast Main Line under their own power. In 1996, due to the privatisation of British Rail, all Intercity 225s were sold to the Eversholt Rail Group. ERG now leases them to Virgin Trains East Coast. The Intercity 225 has a top in-service speed of 140 miles an hour. Of note is that during a test run in 1989 on Stoke Bank between Peterborough and Grantham, an Intercity 225 reached 162 miles an hour, or 260.7 kilometres an hour. However, except on High Speed 1, which is equipped with cab signalling, British signalling does not allow trains to exceed 125 miles per hour in regular service. This is due to the difficulties of correctly reading line-side signals when travelling at high speeds. Between 2001 and 2006, HSBC Rail funded a complete rebuild and refurbishment programme for both the Class 91 and the Mark IV coaches. This project was called Project Mallard. As part of the IEP, the Intercity Express programme, 30 nine-car electric trains are scheduled to replace Intercity 225 sets by 2020. Although it was originally anticipated that all Intercity 225s would be withdrawn from service by 2020, in May 2016, Virgin Trains East Coast were awarded extra paths for London to Edinburgh services, that will see a fleet of six to eight trains retained. In June 2017, Alliance Rail Holdings announced it planned to use Intercity 225s on its proposed London Euston to Blackpool North West Coast Mainline services. 
We hope you've enjoyed this video on the Intercity 225. Please like, share and subscribe for many more videos like this.